As part of our youth, we used to sit in front of the city hall till 12, 1 o'clock at night, just talking to a night cop we had. His name was Carthur Medcalf. He didn't wear a uniform either. Earlier, we had pulled some pranks on Willis, that alleyway by M.A. Pace's store. That used to be a shortcut up where we'd walk to school. And there was a street light up there with a big old red clay bank. And we were shooting cherry bombs back on the Henderson Street. Somebody would slingshot, light that cherry bomb. It'd go about five or 600 feet. And this whole town would shake. <laughs> and we knew they would aggravate Willis. So we had fired off a few of them, and we saw him sneaking up that alleyway. Well, look, there's a street light to you. <laughs> so we ran down, came down this street here, and pulled. That there was a service station where this building is right here. Uh, it was a, a golf station, new golf station. Pulled in, and it was kind of chilly because it was Halloween. And Jack Ward, who was one of the sons of the Thompson store family. He had a 53 Buick. It was immaculate. He always kept it that way. And at by, about that time, he pulled up. And we hopped in his car, there were five of us, and started laughing about what we'd done to Willis. A few minutes, Willis came up. Jack rolled down the window and said, Willis, what happened? Chasing them damn fools, and I think I broke my arm. I fell. <laughs> He said, I know who they are, and I'll get them. <laughs> and we were trying to suppress laughter. <laughs> oh, Lord. Anyhow, we got out. Jack took him up to uh, some doctor up here on Smith Hill and got him in a splint. And then the next day, he went to Hendersonville and got properly treated. Well, I guess from his making, shine making days, Will was still bad to drink. <laughs> and he had a room up over City Hall. Well, he laid up there for two or three months. Wouldn't come out, go back to work. He's still suffering, I guess. And one night, we were sitting there talking to Carther. Here comes Willis down the stairs, drunker than two cooter. <laughs> oh. And he drove a 50 Ford, or a 49 Ford, maybe. Had that big fishtail on the back, red lights and siren on up. And Carther said, Willis, where are you going? He said, I've got to go see a man. And Carthur knew he was going to get more shine. And he begged him not to get in his car. Willis was a belator. He was going. Carthur just trying to talk him out of it. He got in his car. And in those days, there may be two cars an hour go through Saluda. <laughs> he backed out and hit some poor soul from South Carolina. <laughs> Creamed him on the passenger, on the driver's side. And the guy pulled over. Couldn't get out that car. <laughs> crawl out the other way. And Willis is out just raising hell. He's going to have him arrested. Yeah. And cussing him for coming through his town at night. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. He finally, uh, Carthur was able to distract him long enough till he could get in his car and go on down the mountain. I still wonder what that man told his insurance company. <laughs> Got hit by a drunk cop in Sluda. <laughs>